name is John Oga. I am a singer, I am a songwriter, and an all round entertainer. Sometimes I'm an actor. <laughs> and um, I, I would just basically say I'm, I'm an entertainer. It's not been easy, it's been difficult, it's been, um, it's been challenging. But I think the positive there is that um, you're doing what you love. Yeah, you go through you know, situations where you know people around you disappoint you and people around you do not really have the same vision that you have or don't see you as they should to help you grow. But then you also realize that you, know, you, are, you should learn not to be entitled. But then how I've kept myself good and going is that, you know what, I have told myself, you know, I am at the luxury of dreaming new dreams and having new expectations and not just keeping myself in a box. When I was going into the house, um, and, you know, I was definitely, had to, I was definitely going to have to be another person. John with my friends, John with my family, John in my safe space is actually a different John from John with everybody else on social media. So yeah, I just had to be like that. I had to think to myself, okay, how can I actually make trouble? Because fighting is not, that's not my style. But troublemaking in a way, how can I actually activate that? So I said, oh, pranks. I can prank people. So prank T-Boss, prank the entire house by getting rid of their toothbrushes. You know, hiding the bride's guitar. You know, having she was crying, and you know, it was pain. It was painful to watch, but you know, I had to still hold myself. You understand? Know, Our prospects for the future was, you know, we wanted to achieve a lot. We wanted to do a lot. You know, see in your lua now with Andela now flutter away. Look at where whiskey is today. Adebayo Okelawa with Orange Culture. You know, look at where she for me is, look at where I am. Yeah, I remember there was a time that we all went to the movies and Whiskey wasn't there, neither was he. But I'm just saying, uh, I went to Shea for me and I went to a couple of other amazing people uh, to the movies. And we had watched this movie by um, Kunia Falayan, the figurine. And I remember we came out and we were like, man, but man, we have to take it to another level, man. Look at how Kunle has taken Hollywood movies to a different level. We have to take we, I mean, we're all arguing, what are we going to do? How is our generation going to change stuff? And slowly but surely, our generation is changing stuff. And it's amazing to see where everybody is right now. Um, yeah, I have had that pressure. Um, so, for example, I was going to be signed by Kingmaker, um, who has already, you know, Kingmakers, they've made stars already. And um, the person just looked at me and said, oh, you have the good market, um, I know what you should sing, I know what you should look like. And um, it was a very, very flamboyant way of trying to get me to sign on to the person's label. And the person took me to, the, to his car and flashy car and everything. And then played me a song, and the song was "I Go Buy You Ferrari," "I Go Buy You Maserati," and I said, "So I'm sorry, you know I have songs out, right? Have you listened to Uncle Suru featuring Adeku Lego and Semi?" Said, "No, I've not listened to that. I, I've not listened to that, but that's not the issue. I already know what you should sound like." And I'm like, "I write music, I sing, and from it would be so strange to go from Uncle Suru all the way to I Go Buy You Ferrari, Maserati." which is all lies where's the money <laughs> where's the money all these fake fake songs that just make people feel good but this has no meaning or this too. so you have to understand the kind of artist that that you're working with and that's the problem we have life lessons that i have learned from living around the globe and um, from the united states i i learned to be happy and to surround myself with happiness um, living there, I was I was the happiest I will I have ever been in my life. Um, because of the way people are, because of the way possibilities are, you know, you can dream, you can dream the impossible dream, and you can start working towards it. It may it may never come true, but the environment just encourages you to dream, to be the next big thing. You you know, 
invent the next thing you know the uk just taught me to be disciplined it taught me to be focused it taught me that you when you wake up in the morning you dress your bed you say your prayers and then you start your day you have your bath and you start your day when it comes to my living in europe france it taught me to be free and as human beings we have one life to live and sometimes the life that we live is not for a very long time so we must work towards doing all that we can do in the short time that we have hey guys what's up my name is john Oga, and i am a singer songwriter and entertainer